Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dave doing a demo review for Dreamer. Now, Dreamer, I watched this entire T-side half, and you had really good success when you were using your nades, using your smokes, and taking things properly. Where you kind of lacked was when you were just kind of walking around being indecisive and things like that. Now here, you go up catwalk and you actually get a really good kill on this guy. The problem is, the other guy was in the same spot and you ended up dying to him. But your route was a little bit shaky there. I'm going to show you really quickly how you should do a catwalk take right now. Okay, so Dreamer, when you're taking cat control and you're going fast cat, there's a couple things that you need to note. And unfortunately, you only have two flashes, so you can't exactly stop every single thing that the CTs want to do. But you're going to go here and you'll throw your smoke. Now when you're coming here, it's very important that you throw a flash like that and then turn from it. Now, you have options, right? You should be able to get up safely here. That opera should be blind if he's over here, even if he's coming to you above the smoke. And then what I do is, I always jump down here and then jump up catwalk and kill anybody if they're in this area. Because if they get boosted fast cat, or they go cat quickly, they'll be in this area, you'll jump on this Xbox, and you'll generally get a free kill. Now, if you just wanna go rush the A site as soon as possible, then what I would recommend doing is throwing a flash over there, throwing a flash like so, turning, taking this, and then I go like this, and go up like so. Now, I only do this route if my other teammates are going fast cat or fast long A, because I wanna pinch the other team as fast as possible. If my teammates aren't going fast long A, I will always 100% do this route. I'll smoke the door, I'll flash over, let me give myself another flash. I'll go like this, I'll take control, then I'll come like here, and then I'll flash something like that, and I'll go up and clear it. And then I'll have cat control, and you know we have full map control throughout the rest of the round and can do whatever we want with it. Now, that's what I do if my teammates are not going fast long. If my teammates are going fast long, I go here, I throw a smoke, I throw the flash, and when I get to here, I throw this flash, I turn, and I take control of it, okay? So those are the two routes you should do, all right? Um, and you definitely need to use those two flash bangs. Another thing I noticed that I'm not going to show specifically is that when you were crossing long, twice you died without smoking this. Okay, you gotta make sure you get a smoke down. You were just dying to three guys posted at you from CT spawn. It's just it's just a mistake that shouldn't be made and doesn't have to be made. Okay, get that smoke down, get across, you know, throw a flash or whatever, and get across, okay? So those were two mistakes that are definitely avoidable and definitely mistakes that you don't have to make, okay? And things that you can improve on on your T side. Another thing I want to state is on your T side, you did really well when you were using your smokes and you were using your resources with flash mangs and things like that. And when you weren't using those flash mangs and smokes, you were, you know, struggling pretty heavily. So try to try to use your nades. You were doing a good job using your nades. One round you went mid to B, you were doing a good job with it. Um, and use your nades and use, use what resources you have and you're going to have a lot more success because that is where you had the most success is when you were using your nades and flashes properly and they were really opening up the sights and things for you a lot. Okay, now here at the start of the round, you play it really well. You throw the nade, you throw the smoke, a lot of people be rushing these and look at how much damage you did. You did a 50, 26, 76 plus another 46 damage nade. I don't know how much that is, but it's like a 200 damage nade, okay? Now here's where you kind of messed up a little bit. They go mid to B, and you recognize this. Now instead of going here, when you don't think anybody is tunnel, you shouldn't go here at all. Reason being is, you're not really taking anything away. You should either immediately run to window and start fighting them at middle, or you should have went big box. If you went big box and none of them are coming tunnel, I'm not sure if you got the call that three were going mid B. But if you're big box here, you would have angled out like this, killed one, another one drops sight from window, you kill him, and then you're in a 1v1 and you have a box to play with. Okay? So if you know all of them are mid to B, go to big box. If you don't know all of them are mid to B and you think one could be tunnel, either stay back plat, which is completely viable, or jump to the window and help your teammate. Okay, that's the best way to hold mid B, and if you watch good players play, most of them do that. Most of them will jump to help their teammates, and go towards the window and fight from window. Alright, Jimmer, after watching you play, um, you're definitely trying to be an opper, and the most, like, the, the biggest piece of advice I can give you is that the thing holding you back right now, you actually have pretty decent decision making, um, and positioning, 
But the thing holding you back is, is generally just your shot. If you would have hit every single shot in this demo, you would have had like 45 kills, 50 kills, and your team would have won very, very easily. Um, positioning wise and using your grenades, I saw a lot of promising things. You were playing pretty well. The main thing is that you just were not aiming properly at all. So we have some tips and tricks on, on how to improve your aim and things like that and how to deathmatch properly. So definitely check those out. Um, but you know, you're going to have to do the heavy leg work. No amount of watching videos is going to get you to hit those shots. You're going to have to be in the DM working on your aim and things like that. We can get you the proper settings and teach you how to improve like that. But you're going to have to get in the DM and really improve there. Because you were a lot better than these guys when it came to positioning and it came to using your nades properly and things like that. But you weren't a lot better than them and you were on the same playing field as them when it came to hitting your shots. Okay, so as of right now, you really just need to work on your aim. That's the main piece of advice I can give you right now in the skill group that you're in. All right, this has been Dish from Thank you for submitting your demo dreamer and peace out.